M0FXB Radto have brought out a very nice looking DMR radio. You can see the 880 here. This is the RT60. I would call it the colour version of the RT40, but this one has a, a dual display. So let's just see what's in the box. So it's the Radto RT60, 500,000 contacts. So we've got the radio and we'll get everything out onto the table. It does include the instructions and a charging base. We've got the radio packaged up nice. It's a nice solid radio, isn't it? Large battery. Have a quick look at the metal tab here. Just pull it up, and it's 2,400 milliamp hour, 10 watt RT60. Okay. Very nice looking, just flick that on a minute. Instruction manual just here. That is a very beautiful looking DMR radio. Now I have been making videos on a, a very similar model. So I am learning. Yeah, that's your, your printed manual. There's your your drop-in charger solid and they give you an antenna and a belt clip and wrist strap charger and USB charging cable as well and the nice thing about the USB charging well the USB C connection in the radio is it's USB programmable as well and I'm not sure I don't think this cable will work but I know it won't you need the CH340 cable they don't cost much they're about seven pound Get the antenna on and the stock antennas i think the rod tail <laughs> rad tail provide i think are good oh yeah i remember to get this belt clip on you are better off removing the battery because then you're going to get rid of the risk of scratching it just here so because it's like these spring loaded ones and they're really strong they're really good they're very good belt clips i've scratched radios in the past okay comes on rad tail let's just do basics we're going to just turn the thing on rt 6d and we're going to go on the a band so let's work out a and b so here look a b dedicated a b button which is nice you can see my hotspots already making my 4d pick up some signals in the background just here Let's get this in the instructions, just put the clonk them there. So I'm just going to type in the frequency of my hotspot now, but we're not in DMR mode, it actually says FM mode there. So we're going to go 431550. I'm not sure if it will pick up any DMR audio because I haven't put in my DMR number and things like that, but I just put it in and then in, on the menu, if you go menu, go to key functions, select, uh, you could, I could probably why well, i know i can make one of them say the number one button menu and the buttons feel nice soft good quality i can make it do digital analog by going down and this does have a band scope as well there it is there da switch select so now if i press and hold the uh the one it switched it to digital mode now okay I'm not sure if it'll, it'll pick that up because, I, like I said, I haven't put the DMR number in yet. Well, let's try it. So what we'll do, we'll go menu and go to digital settings, menu, personal ID in here. We're going to go, uh, we might have to delete it first. Yeah, you just press the up and down arrow until the red, it's very light, but there's a red thing there and then you can... Delete it then. Oops, I did it wrong. To the end. A very faint red line there. The star deletes, and then we're going to go two, three, four, one, four, three, seven. Select. At least we've got that in there. Uh, let's have a look, see if I can find anything else obvious. Speak again, talk group, contact set. Really, we need a contact, really. Uh, add contact. Of course, you use the software for this. Edit ID, and then again, it will be, I think, down with the arrow. 
start and then we're just going to put in 91 for now. We haven't given it a name, but we'll just put in 91 for now. Let me see if I can activate the spectrum scope and on the B band also. We're going to put in my local node 434550. Five, five, That's in. I'll activate that. I noticed the APRS is actually lit up there. I haven't turned that on, but I noticed that that's lit up. Let's go menu, set another button. Key define. Let's go to number three. And let's see if we can do spectrum. It's got dual standby. There's your APRS beacon. Um, GPS manual record. GPS, let's turn that on, actually. We'll put that on number three. Then we'll back out and we'll set number four. We'll do the, got a lot of GPS settings there. Looking for spectrum. Promiscuous mode, did you see that? Ooh, we might set that one actually. That's number four and number five. Scanning, backlight, brightness, FM broadcast radio. We've got digital analog switch. Oh, I'm looking for spectrum. Maybe that's only on the... Ah, I found it. So if we back out. Key definition. So let's press an old three. That's your GPS when you have a lock. Um, let's do this number four. I'm not doing anything there. Number five. Okay. That's our spectrum. Couple of side buttons here. Scanning on. That one's on scanning. And let's press and hold it. Broadcast radio. That's good. I know it's backlit. These buttons are a bit greeny. Um, what else? Let's probably the other button here. So you've got PTT on the, on the B. Oh, looks like it's set as a monitor button. And there's your PTT. And things go red when you select A and B. Which one you want to transmit on. Uh, VFO memory. It does do zones though. You'll be able to set this to do zones as well. Let's press and hold the hash. Uh, TX frequency, okay. Back, press Channel and hold setting. the start. All right. Yeah, so lots to tinker with. All your symbols are at the top here. Big LED SOS button, proper turning knob, volume knob there. Okay, we got the... The Thank node coming through on analog, sounding great. And you set your, set your settings by going menu and go down to channel. Channel set there, and there's your transmit tone. Type the frequency as normal, set your shifts. Let's have a look at the extended functions. We'll go menu. Keep going down until you see extended. This is where you're going to start finding your GPS. Let's turn it on. Like so. And you've got board rates, PC monitor. I've, uh, I'll show you that on another video. Okay. And go down. APRS. I want that off at the moment anyway, because I noticed it was on. Um, but just to see your station mode, beacon setup, digi, digi setup, APRS receive, TX, DMOD tone. And all the settings you'd expect. I notice the APRS is still showing up there. Um, right, let's connect this to the computer and see if we can add a few bits and get, get it receiving some, some DMR.